Hey there everybody, it's Steve. <clears throat> Thought I'd do a quick video showing this Nectar design here, how to do this railing. You may have figured it out already. I'm a little slow to the punch, but um, I've already got started here just to make this quick. And each one of these is a polyline solid. And all you have to do is, is get the polyline solid tool here. Click and drag and hit your tab key and say 96 for the length and say I was saying three and a half and then I just use the multiple copy tool here and what I wanted to do really is I figure the fence might be six feet tall so just using a polyline here I went like this and I typed in 72 on the Y and I'm going to move it down using transform replicate uh, in the Y minus three because I figure this first slat will be about three inches off the ground but actually that doesn't even matter I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing here sorry about that not to be confusing but anyway we want to fill these up to here and so you could use multiple copy and click here evenly distribute and let's just start with 20 and see what that looks like And it basically takes you to the center, and that's too many. So let's, I didn't do any math, so sorry. I'm, I'm kind of figuring this out on the fly here. Um, but you can see you get a little gap here, which is good. And let's just call that a, call that good. It's actually a little more 72, but you get that, you get what I'm trying to do. And if you look at these, they're one inch thick, which is fine for this. One inch to the top, zero to the bottom. Now we want this center piece, so I am going to just draw a another polyline solid, and I have a hotkey for it, so I'm going to make it 2 by 72, and I'm going to open it, and I'm going to make it 2 inches thick, and I'm going to make it 0 to the top, okay, so it's on the bottom of these slats. Then I'm going to center it here. And I'm going to kind of move it into position. I don't want it to go right to the top, but I don't, and I don't want it to go right to the bottom. And if we take a look at that, here it is. Here's the one I did earlier, and here's this one. And you can see I've got this piece on the back side. And then you just can paint it with something. Um, uh, I went into a cabinet place like here and I got alder and I, I painted this and uh, standard view there you go and the problem here is it's going the wrong direction so you take your rainbow tool here and do this and just on the texture tab change the angle to 90 and it'll be in the right direction now this one might not be, but you can barely see it, so I, I wouldn't worry about it. And then, I, I don't know, just take some, uh, uh, like a finish of some type, maybe something here. And then I use a paintbrush tool so I could keep the wood grain and I just paint it. So there you go, you got this panel. I'm gonna delete this one, go back to the plan view. That's the one I did earlier. And you're looking at this, and then it, you drew it in plan view, so it's laying flat on the ground, so to speak. But go go to tools. I got a hotkey right here, and convert this to a symbol. Convert it to millwork, and click OK. And as you can see, it's laying flat, which you don't want. So click your XYZ here, and you'll see that you want to rotate it on the X axis. So, and if you do this wrong, you could just experiment. It's like that didn't work because I did the C, the Z. Click X and rotate. And now it's standing up and it looks pretty good. And uh, that's your panel basically. So let's call this fence panel two. I already did one. And um, options, there is an option here to make it a railing fence. I don't know what that really does. Then on the sizing tab, you want it to size between here and here. On the X plane. So zero is right in the middle. 
right where that blue line is. So along the x-axis, you want to go minus 24 and positive 24. 24 inches to the right and 24 inches to the left. The left is negative. And click OK. Put it in your library. And then uh, go up here and uh, build fencing, straight fence. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. I got to do it again. Sorry. Straight fence. Take a look at that in camera view. And then just replace um, Ah, was that what I created for you? I can't even remember anymore. Fence panel 2 right here. Just replace that. You can replace from the library as you can see. And then open this and make it 72 inches tall. And these are the newels to so make them like 76 inches tall. So they're set maybe 75, 96 inches apart. And that looks pretty good. Click OK. And that is your fence in a pretty timely fashion. It doesn't really take that long. And um, if you look at this, um, like if you wanted to, this is a little advanced maybe, but um, as you can see, this bottom slat is right on the ground. And the way to fix that is to right click on your item in your library open the symbol and on the 3d tab on the z position type in three and did you see it move it went up click ok now replace just click on it again and then just replace this with it and you'll see boom they move up because you you can you told it that the the z was going to move up so uh and that looks more like the fence anyway. And uh, you can paint the newels, whatever you want them. And um, if you wanted this to be shiny, you know, you can come in here and work with this properties. And I don't, I really don't know what properties do what here, but maybe specular. Um, maybe polished like that. And then they might look more polished in a ray trace or something. But uh, that, uh, I hope, helps. Uh, it's a quick little tip on how to make a fence panel. The other thing is with the stretch planes, if you change the spacing of these newels, say, to, oh, 60 inches, the, the sides are moving, but the center isn't. It, it keeps the 2x2 two two in the middle. That's the reason for the stretch plane. So I hope that helps. Good luck.